If anyone is interested in public input, um, we have a sign-up sheet here. I'm not sure if you'd be interested, but yeah. Everyone, welcome to City Hall Auditorium. I'd like to call to order the Wednesday, March 6th meeting of the Chicopee School <laughs> Committee. Please join me. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all. Excuse me. In compliance with open meeting law, we are right now recording and live broadcasting this meeting. Is anyone in the audience recording the meeting? If so, please state your name and who you're affiliated with. Seeing none, I'll announce that it appears we're having two of our members tonight join us remotely. We have school committee person Douglas Gerard and school committee person David Barcelo. And I, I'm sorry, I can't read the other name, but oh, that's just Andrew Vernon, our, our IT director as well. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call for a moment of silence and we'll observe that for all those who serve in the military and for all those who protect us. Thank you. Sarah, could we please have a roll call of board attendance? Mayor View? Here. Ms. Russo? Here. Mr. Barslow? Present. Mr. Dow? Here. Mrs. Perrette? Present. Mrs. Schofield? Here. Mr. Brooks? Here. Mr. Lamoth? Here. Mr. Gerard? Here. Mr. Bernard? Mrs. Lopes? Present. Mr. Zatella? 10 present, 2 absent. Thank you, Sarah. Public announcements by committee members. I'll start with the vice chair. I'm all, I'm all set, Mayor. Sonny? I'm all set, thank you. Grace? All set. Susan? Uh, Superintendent, I anxiously await the results of the audit that has been done in our district to address safety in our buildings. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it's coming soon. It's in, it's in progress still, but it is coming soon. So we expect it probably the first the first um, school committee meeting of April because he's gonna have to compile all the um, all the results from all 15 buildings. But it is in the progress. It's in progress right as we speak. It can you just tell me a little bit about the process? Is it going to be a presentation to the school committee in April? Absolutely. So two things are going to happen. So one of the things that are going to happen is I'm going to present my findings, um, which will include the um, security information from the audit. So Navigate 360, which is our current um, platform that we use to monitor a lot of our internet um, things that with our students, is also they have a multifaceted service system in which they are doing our audit. So they are actually meeting with building principals as we speak, um, as well as our SROs, which are uh, clearly Chicopee Public School, uh, Chicopee Police Officers. Um, as well as um, Mr. Chapdelaine is the one who's actually organizing it. So they're actually going school by school, um, and they actually have a checklist in which they're using to actually go through all the, the functions of a building that um, are um, by what we call national standards, and then they would actually do a comparison. So we'll actually have a report that's detailed that will actually present out findings that they have by tiers. So there will be high-level things that they would actually ask us to, to recommend to address, and there will be other things that will be lower priority. So so it'll be based off priority, but it would be very specific to all the things that we would like to do and upgrade in our district. Thank you, Dr. Ware. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doug Gerard. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I just have a, uh, uh, a few items here. Uh, if we could, uh, I'd like to request an update on the field lighting over at Chickabee High School uh, for the next uh, meeting, if that's at all possible. Uh, just an update on that to see where we're at. I, I know we're in the process of trying to find someone to put those yes. lights up. Oh, okay. Uh, so if we could have an update on that, that would be great. Uh, also, I'd like to congratulate the uh, varsity Chickabee Comp bowling team for uh, winning the all-conference uh, championship. And to uh, Taryn Langlois, uh, the girls' varsity basketball team, she just recently... Uh, as a junior, scored a thousand points. This is an incredible feat. So, congratulations, Taryn, uh, on your achievements. And that's it, Mayor. Thank you, Doug. Sandra. Just a uh, little reminder that uh, tomorrow evening there's an art show at Stryber School. So, everyone is invited to attend and see the wonderful pieces by the students. Thank you, Diana. Yeah. Um I just wanted to thank Mr. Holt. Um, we uh, today got to visit Bellamy School. I believe Mayor View is doing a tour of all of the schools, so I was lucky enough to, to join on the Bellamy School and hopefully a few others, but it was really great to see the improvements that they've um, put into the school and as well as the challenges that they're facing. I think it will be really valuable as we sit through more discussions here. So thanks, thanks to everyone at Bellamy. Thank you for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. And Jay. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I just want to wish a uh, best of luck to all the Stefanic stars that will be performing in the Aladdin performance uh, tomorrow night and Friday night uh, at Bellamy School. Um, you know, I, I know how how difficult it can be to kind of get on stage in front of people and everything. You know, and to those students who you know who have the courage to go up there, I wish them the best of luck. I congratulate them ahead of time. I was supposed to go with my daughter, but I have a, another obligation, so my daughter and my mother-in-law will be there cheering them on. And just a, a special thank you to, um, to the Maynards, uh, to Katie Bowden, and the Sutherland families for, you know, for, for making this happen. This is their third performance at Stefanik, and I, you know, I've had the joy of going to them before. Miss Theriot uh, and Miss Gainley have their guest appearances at times. You know, last year, I remember them throwing fish at each other, I believe, in The Little Mermaid, you know, and, and it's a great time for all students, and you really have uh, the buy-in from the school. So best of luck to all the Stefanik stars performing in the Aladdin performance tomorrow and Friday. Thank you, Jay, and for, thank you for recognizing Aladdin. It's gonna be a great show. And David. Oh, nothing tonight, Mayor. <laughs> okay. 
Superintendent, public announcements. Uh, thank you, thank you, everyone, and thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just want to quickly give a shout out. Thank you for all the play of, of Aladdin that's going on. I also want to give a shout out to Bowie. Um, last week, they asked me to come for Dr. Seuss Day, and I was I got a chance to read to a lot of the Bowie students, and they thought I was Dr. Seuss, but I do not have that that notoriety. But it was nice to actually read to the students and actually see the activities that's going on. And I too want to second the sentiments that Miss Russo actually was speaking to. Um, the mayor has been making school visits and I've had the opportunity to jump in. So I think um, Chickabee Comp and Chickabee High um, for the past couple of days. Um, and today was also Satella, where we had the opportunity to pop into classrooms and actually see the mayor speak to the clean, um, make sure keeping Chickabee clean campaign and have the students actually speak to it. So I just want to say thank you to that. And lastly, Mr. Mayor, if you allow me to, I would like to ask Ms. Jen Belville to speak to um, an update in our department when it comes to um, early child care, early childhood, excuse me. Okay, great. That'd be great. Thank you, Dr. Ware. Um, I just wanted everybody to be aware that we did hire an early childhood coordinator um, who will be starting with us on March 18th. But for the public to know that we will be pulling down the droplet right now of the preschool interest form. And the reason for that is because we are revamping our lottery process. In the next week and a half, letters will be going to our current families regarding if they wish to keep their spots um, or if they wish to move from a half day slot to a full day slot for everyone who is currently with us and then we will be putting on our website and publicly notifying everybody around our preschool lottery slots and we'll be doing that later in March and at the beginning of April. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Public input, we have no one signed up for public input tonight so we'll move right on to our visitors, the Student Advisory Council. Yay. Welcome to the school <laughs> committee. <laughs> Good evening, Honorable Mayor View, Superintendent Ware, esteemed members of the school committee and respected school administration. I'm here tonight with Maria Ferretti and um, Student Advisory Council Advisor, Dr. Petrakowski. Uh, we stand before you today as members of the Student Advisory Council to follow up on our initiative to start the Chicopee Seal of Community Service for graduate and senior transcripts, which would be similar to the Seal of Biliteracy we currently award to qualified students. To to review for the viewer and audience, this would be an honor bestowed upon graduating seniors who not only meet a minimum community service requirement, but also actively seek and earn this recognition through their dedication to service. We have met multiple times to discuss the requirements for a student to earn the Chickabee Seal of Community Service. The following requirements are 50 hours of community service throughout freshman to junior year, 75 hours of community service if you want the Seal of Distinction, and you need a reference via Google form from someone inside the community and a faculty member in the student's school. Hours can be earned both in and outside of school activities. Students do not need a certain GPA to be eligible as we feel that there are many students out there who may maybe do not have a 4.0 GPA but should be recognized for their efforts and dedication to the community. Students would need to log the hours in a Google form. There's a two week deadline so that someone cannot decide at the beginning of senior year to log hours from previous years and the committee have no way to verify them. We are hoping to have a ceremony each year to honor these students and invite members of the community to speak and support the students. To kick off this initiative, we are partnering with the mayor's office and the Chicopee Public Schools Family and Community Liaison Ms. Kristen Coelho to publicize and participate in the city's clean sweep. In addition to partnering with Ms. Coelho, we're also currently working to loop in athletics from both CHS and CCHS. We're working with athletic director, Mr. Sean Mackin, to normalize these kinds of community service activities and promote diligent participation in students. The Chicopee seal of community service is not merely an allocate. It is a testament to our commitment to producing well-rounded, socially conscious individuals who are poised to make a difference in the world. We hope that the school committee and administration supports our efforts to promote this award, but more importantly, promote student involvement in community service and activities such as the Chicopee Clean Sweep. For anyone who wants to join us and help out, it will be held on April 27th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. 
Please continue checking the CHS and CCHS Facebook and Instagram pages for updates. Thank you for your attention and time this evening. Thank you. We'll move on to the approval of minutes, 24-3-1. Move that the minutes of the regular meeting on the school committee held on February 7th, 2024 be approved. Vice Chair Don Lamoff. Motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. Any discussion on the minutes? Is anyone on Zoom with any discussion on the minutes? Sarah will take a roll call. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Mr. Lamoth? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barslow? Yes. Mr. Doubt? Yes. Mrs. Perrett? Yes. <clears throat> Motion carries. Reports 24 3 2. Report on personnel action taken. I'd like to invite Deb Green, Director of HR, to the podium. Thank you. This report is covering February 12th through February 28th. We had a total of 15 new hires, two of those in Unit A as teacher hires, three of those in Unit E as paraprofessionals. We had nine resignations. And in that time, there were seven retirements, um, those including some people a total of about 160 years of service to Chigabee Public Schools. Um, so on behalf of some of those are some very good friends of mine that I'd like to congratulate, and I know Dr. Ware is also going to address them. As of today, we have 85 postings up on PowerSchool. 25 of those are Unit A openings, 17 of those are Unit E openings, and of those, 21 are special ed openings. Sure. Dr. Ware, thank you, Deb. Uh, thank you, Ms. Green. Um, yes, and as Ms. Green said, we have seven retirees, and the, the years of service are amazing. So I'm going to take my time, if the school committee and the public will sure. indulge me. Um, Kathleen Abood, science teacher, Stryber School, 26 years of service. Kathy is a wonderful colleague. In addition to her excellent teaching, she goes above and beyond in, organi or in organizing and participating in extra school activities. She enjoys seeing the students in the morning and always greets them with warmth and enthusiasm. Kathy has put her heart and soul into creating the amazing STEAM lab we have here, what they have at Stryber School. Stryber states they, will, they wish her very well on her retirement and they will miss her dearly. Thank you so much, Ms. Abood, for your service. Next, Douglas Beaudry, school custodian, Fairview School, 19 years of service. With 19 years of service, Doug has accrued a wealth of knowledge in his profession. Throughout his years in the district, Doug has created lasting relationships with his colleagues, other building staff, and the children he works with each day. Doug loves to challenge our kiddos with his trivia during lunch each day and has even been known to fill in as our mascot when need be. Mr. Doug will always be a Fairview Falcon, and we wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. Best of luck to Mr. Beaudry. Next, Patricia Bida, Senior Clerk Typist, Zatella School, 28 years of service. Pat has been the Zatella Clerk since, since um, for the past 20 years. She was amazing to work with, always early riser and seldomly absent. She was kind to staff always and families and had a great sense of humor. The Zatella staff will dearly miss her and they wish her the best of luck in her retirement. Congratulations to Ms. Bida. Next up, Mark Davignon. I hope I did that serve justice in my French skills. Senior custodian, Bowie School, 36 years of service. We are honored to celebrate Mark's career. With, with 36 incredible years in the Chicopee Public Schools and an impressive 32 years at Bowie, he stands proudly at the top of the seniority list. Mark isn't just a veteran custodian, he's a legend in his own right. His dedication and commitment to the students and staff at Bowie know no bounds. Beyond being a master in his field, Mark's genuine care and unwavering support have left indelible mark on everyone, on everyone he's encountered. 
His infectious wit and sincere concern have made him an irreplaceable member of the Bowie family. As Mark embarks on his new chapter, his absence will be deeply felt by all who had the privilege of knowing him. Cheers to his retirement and congratulations to Mr. Davignon. Next, Susan Hoschild, School Adjustment Counselor, Chicopee Compre Comprehensive High School, 20 years of service. Susan has called Chicopee Comp her home for the past three years, arriving here in the fall of 2021. During her time, she has shown to be a gentle voice working closely with students in the counseling office. She has shown dedication and commitment to the school as well as her students' needs. Susan is known as an advocate and a motivator of students who has depth of knowledge in her field. We wish Susan a bright and sunny retirement as she plans to split travel time between her children and grandchildren in Florida and Hawaii. May you enjoy a well-deserved retirement filled with travel and relaxation. Congratulations to Ms. Hoschild. Next up, Doreen Lekasik. Cafeteria helper, Bowie School, 28 years of service. Doreen started in food service on November 10th, 1997 as a cafeteria helper. She worked at Bowie Elementary School for 28 years. She is patient, kind, and a compassionate person who truly cares about the needs of each and every student. Doreen's hard work, dedication, and positive impact will be greatly missed by all who worked with her at Bowie Elementary. Doreen loves to read books, so here's to wishing her a relaxing and wonderful retirement. Congratulations to Ms. Lekasik. Last but not least, Paula Turkelson, grade five teacher, Stryber School, 22 years, seven months of service. Paula has been a joy to work with. She is kind and compassionate, not only to her students, but to her colleagues. She is always cooperative and listens to everyone's ideas. She works hard and always wants the best for her students. She will truly be missed at Stryber School and they wish her all the best in her retirement. Congratulations to Ms. Turkelson. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ware. Any other comments? Sure. Sandra, I saw your hand first. Uh, uh, just a congratulations to everyone. And we know how uh, mentally and, and emotionally difficult it is for any teacher to stand in front of a classroom uh, day after day, but. Uh, to see the length of service for someone in a physically challenging position as uh, custodial work or to work in the cafeteria, I commend them as well because that's, that's not easy work to do. So congratulations and thank you for your dedication, everyone, to the city of Chicopee and our students. Vice Chair, Don Lamo. Yeah, I'd like to congratulate the seven for the retirement, but I'd also like to special thank you to the, the teachers and cl um, counselor who are staying until the end of the year and not leaving when, in the middle of the year when it's hard to get replacements. So I'm glad to see that they're staying to the end of the year. Thank you. Grace. Um, just want to echo congratulations to everyone, but um, I had the honor of working with um, Doreen and Mark at Bowie for all those years, and, and their um, personalities and kindness were um, truly going to be missed, and they shaped the fabric of the school. Also, um, Kathy Abood uh, helped me a lot during committee work and, and has really added uh, a lot. And all of the uh, re retirees will be missed. And we appreciate their service. Thank you. Any other comments or discussion about the personnel action report? Thank you to our HR director, Deb Green. New business, 24-3-3. Move that the bills warrant S020924, totaling $523,589.04 be approved. Sonny, can I get a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Jay, could you read the warrants into the official record, please? Absolutely, Mayor. So tonight we'll be voting on four warrants or approving four warrants. I will read the totals for the four warrants altogether, and then we will vote on them individually. For athletics, $48,451. Food services, $361,346. General expenses, $228,656. Grants, $236,222. Maintenance, $367,991. Special education, 
$354,573. Student activities, $4,100. Transportation, $26,824. Telecommunications, $1,967. Sales tax, $894. For a grand total of all four warrants, one million six hundred and thirty-one thousand and twenty-eight dollars. Thank you. Any discussion on the warrants? Will we, like school committee member Jay Doubt mentioned, we'll be voting on these warrants individually. We'll start with the first one, and we'll take a roll call, please. Mrs. Schofield. Yes. Mr. Brooks. Yes. Mr. Lamoth. Yes. Mr. Gerard. Yes. Mrs. Lopes. Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barcelo? Yes. Mr. Doubt? Yes. Mrs. Perrette? Yes. 10 yes. Motion carries 24 3 4. Move that the bills warrant S021624, totaling $308,220.66, be approved. Grace, can I get a motion? Motion to approve. A motion to approve. Any discussion on the second warrant? Seeing none, we'll take a roll call. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Mr. Lamoth? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barcelo? Yes. Mr. Doubt? Yes. Mrs. Perrette? Yes. 10 yes. Motion carries 24 3 5. Move that the bills warrant S022324, totaling $364,106.10, be approved. Susan, can I get a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Any discussion on the third warrant? Susan. Can I please just uh, speak about some of the warrants that we signed this past week? Maybe even a couple weeks before that. We did some business with Chickabee Businesses, Sign Dynamics. They installed a sign for $1,295. We had camera repair invoices. There was about five of them on a warrant back in February. So we're keeping up with the cameras in our schools. We had some students who were in hospitals and we did some tutoring for them, $1,250. Bingo for books. $9,975, some nursing supplies for $1,355. We paid $28,159 to the Heartland program, and I found out through um, John Mayarecki's office, I work very closely with Stacy, and she told us that it, that is essential to running our school lunch program. I also um, asked about some warrants having to do with Scholastic Library books and vending machines that we have in our schools. And again, Stacy always answers all my questions. She gets back to me right away, and I'm grateful to her for that. Um, Whip Sports, we spent $2,680 on hoodies and joggers for some of our um, sports players, our athletes. Lots of Amazon warrants, um, so we are keeping our classrooms full of, surprise, uh, full of supplies, excuse me, that are needed for a, a strong quality education. And we did some work at Seltzer Academy Teachers Parking Lot for $6,117. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Any other discussion? So we're voting on the third warrant. Anyone joining us remotely? Seeing none, we'll take a roll call. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Mr. Lamas? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barslow? Yes. Mr. Doubt? Yes. Mrs. Perrett? Yes. 10 yes. Motion carries 24-3-6. Move that the bills warrant S030124 totaling $435,112.40 be approved. Doug, can I get a motion? Yeah, motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Any discussion on the third warrant? Seeing none, we'll take a roll call. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Mr. Lamoth? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barcelow? Yes. Mr. Doubt? Yes. Mrs. Perrette? Yes. 10 yes. Motion carries. 24-3-7.
Move that the revised 2023-2024 school calendar be approved. Sandra, can I get a motion? Motion to approve the calendar. Motion to approve the revised calendar. Vice Chair, Don. Yes, uh, if we were to get a snowstorm in the next couple of weeks, like all the way into April, and we had to take time off, would this have to be revised again? So the, the last day of school would move. Um, so the, um, theoretically, I would say yes, because on the calendar right now, the last day of school is the 18th, I believe. Um, and so hopefully we will not. Um, but Mother Nature has that power and control. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion on the revised calendar? Dr. Ware. And just to be clear, the ch uh, proposed change is actually um, in the box at the upper right-hand corner. The um, Chicopee Academy graduation was the same night as another um, school, so we actually are doing it the night before, so there's no conflict. Thank you. Any other discussion? Sarah will take a roll call. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Mr. Lamoth? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barcelo? Yes. Mr. Doubt? Yes. Mrs. Pratt? Yes. 10 yes. Motion carries. 24-3-8. Move that the revised job descriptions for the following positions be approved. A, attendance assistant, and B, family and school engagement liaison. Deanna, can I get a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Any discussion? Sandra. Can uh, you share with mm -hmm. us what was revised for the general public? Yep, well, I definitely can. So I'll start with the attendance assistance. So there were job duties, more specifically, that pertain to the middle school that we actually changed for the attendance assistant. So, there, um, so that's one of the changes. And then the family and school engagement liaison, the hours, um, the duty of the work hours were incorrect. So we actually straightened those out, and now they are more aligned to what the actual family liaison position is for. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ware. Any other comments or discussion? Seeing none, we'll take a roll call. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Mr. Lamoth? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barslow? Yes. Mr. Dow? Yes. Mrs. Perrette? Yes. 10 yes. Motion carries. Vice Chair, Don Lamoth. Executive session. Move that the school committee adjourn into executive session pursuant to MGL C 30 A S 21 A to comply with act under authority of the general or special law approval of executive session minutes for sessions held February, February 7th and to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining unit B vice principal memorandum of agreement and not to re reconvene in open session. The chair declares that executive session is necessary to protect bargaining position by the committee. Thank you. So you have a motion to go into executive session. Any discussion? Seeing none, I want to thank the audience for joining us, and we'll take a roll call vote. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Barslow? Yes. Mr. Dow? Yes. Mrs. Pratt? Yes. Ten yes. Ten yes. Motion carries. Thank you.